Hi everybody, I hope you're doing great. Today I'll be showing you two ways to build coils. The screwdriver method and the coil master 5-in-1 method. Currently I wrap coils around a screwdriver using canthal wire. Start by placing a small lead up against the screwdriver. Slowly and tightly as possible, wrap around 8 to 10 times. Push the coil to tighten the gaps. Snip the wire with a sterile pair of toenail clippers. So that's how I wrap coils, so let's check out the Coil Master 5-in-1 process. The Coil Master 5-in-1, and also called the version 2, includes one base, five top covers, and five coiling poles. The size coils you can build are 1.0, 1.5, 2.0, 2.5, and 3.0 millimeters. To start, choose the coiling pole size that you would like to use. Unscrew the top cap from the base and insert the coiling pole. Screw the cap back onto the base. Cut a piece of wire and insert it through the hole in the cap. Using the screwdriver, loosen the screw to fit your wire size. While holding the wire with your thumb, slide the cap onto the pole and start coiling. Simple as that. If you're rebuilding Kanger coils, you'll need to remove the old coil first. Start by pulling off the metal plug at the end. Then carefully pry out the rubber insert. Push the old coil through the casing. Once cleaned, insert the two wire leads from the new coil through the casing. Bend one wire over the lip. Carefully reinsert the rubber insert. Bend the second wire over the top of the rubber insert and push in the metal plug. Snip off the excess wire. I usually screw the new coil onto an EVOD base and check it on a battery. This also burns off any residue that may be on the wire. Currently I'm using organic cotton as the wick. Pull a piece off and twist the end. I usually snip off the tip for a stronger point. Push the end of the cotton through the coil. You may need to wet the tip of the cotton to help guide it through the coil. Cut both ends of the cotton close to the base. Click the chimney back on and now you have a new coil. The Coil Master coils were obviously better and tighter wound coils than my screwdriver method. There is a slight learning curve to using the Coil Master, but it doesn't take long to get adjusted. I like the Coil Master, but I also like my screwdriver method, maybe because I'm used to it. Coil Master also has newer and bigger kits available, and if you would like to check them out, then just click on the info link in the description box below. As always, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and connect with me on my social sites. Have an excellent day, and may the fate be with you.